بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in this paper by Sosa et al uh, mapping the peri-apex anatomical patterns of teeth involved in sodium hypochlorite accidents uh, the authors are looking for uh, reasons of sodium hypochlorite accident uh, in cases from 2016 to 2020 uh, from the introduction we can find that clear et al in 2008 hypothesized that the sodium hypochlorite accident is more likely to occur when the case has a the solution in direct contact with or direct access with the soft tissue space such as the buccal or infraorbital space rather than via simple direct contact with the bone itself or contact contacting the bone directly uh, they had 13 patients uh, who were undertaking root canal treatment and who had a history of sodium hypochlorite accident they were referred to uh, one author the author with the initials rr which is Ro r roses uh, after the sub subsiding the symptoms and in the in the experiment they would uh, clean the canals and inject them with a radio opaque material and subject the patient to radiation and they would get a CB, uh, cbct scan and uh, 13 patients were involved and also five patients without history of any accidents were involved for control uh, interestingly enough in the results you can find here in the table one that each patient which had an accident which are 13 all had a uh, fenestration of the buccal cortical plate uh, and the periapical tissue in which the solution was spread is the buccal mucosa however in the non or control cases there was no fenestration and the contact was in cancellous and uh, the bone confined apical lesion here are some example uh, cases which you could see that the buccal bone had been fenestrated and the uh, radiopaque material appears in the uh, buccal soft tissue space this is case one case two and case three all had the same or similar presentations however in the control cases you could see there was no contact or fenestration in the buccal uh, mucosa this is an interesting topic and uh, the, the authors are recommend that having a pre-operative cbct would help a lot as proposed by can in 2015 that it will help evaluating and predicting such accidents